Hello and welcome to Raf Limbs. This is Swaro Hosain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn how can we have the D Space 7 on Ubuntu 20.04 that is current LTS through the Docker. So first of all, let us see what is D Space 7 and what is the difference between D Space 6 and 7 and then we will see what is Docker actually. Then we will move forward to the hands-on tutorial. So D space uh, 7 is bit difficult and different than D space 6 and it's a huge project. It has multiple prerequisites and the system we need to configure, we need to install. So the backend is the same. I mean backend the rest API are the same. So same like I mean D space 6 and uh, it has a front end. We need to configure first the back end and then front end and also the prerequisites first of all. So we need to work at uh, three stages. So uh, the back end, the front end, I mean back end and all APIs and the front end and uh, of course the prerequisites that's actually Java, OpenJDK or Java, Maven, PostgreSQL, Apache Tomcat, Solar also added. Maven, I mean, I mean, it has Angular, it has Hall browser, lots and pots things included in D space seven. Anyhow, so uh, anyhow, let us move uh, forward. So let's see what is the uh, uh, Docker. Docker is actually uh, one of the container or the image files. We can say they are image files and the container to let you have D space easily and effectively and uh, you can say they are actually live dvds or something like that for the practice and development but they are not recommended to to have uh, the production system so let's see what how can we install d space 7 uh, on ubuntu 20.04 through the docker files so here we have the docker page and this page is for Ubuntu, I mean the Linux uh, desktop setup. So you can see Docker for DSpace testing and development. Uh, to install DSpace 7 on your machine, you can use uh, Docker. Of course, we are going to do that. Uh, but for production system, you need to work on separately for uh, a, a part of Docker. Like you need to install backend, you need to install front end, and you need to work on prerequisites so in some of the other videos we will do this um, hopefully because docker i mean because d space 7 it's quite big and the large and the huge or whatever you want to say is a project i don't know why did so many things are included in d space anyhow so that's a uh, maybe uh, i said and uh, my preference is about the d space 6 would be the good but d space 7 it's too heavy and huge project even uh, for for docker file we need to have at least at least 4 gb of ram uh, to run on it i mean anyhow so so let's see how we can configure docker so install docker we need to have git first so here we have this is actually the page uh, of uh, docker so i will give the link of this page on the on in the description of this video so we need to install git first so let us open terminal control alt t and there you need to activate the admin mode by sudo so and the password of your system and uh, before doing anything we need to update and upgrade our system so it's sudo apt uh, oh sorry update
uh, Deep Space 7 is now a huge project. You need to need to have support from system librarians. Uh, a normal librarians or uh, cannot configure Deep Space 7. It's, it has a huge things. I mean, lots of things, lots of things. I don't know why. And then upgrade, of course. So upgrade will take few time. Anyhow, thanks to Docker, we can have uh, the deep space easily and effectively, and uh, we do not need to configure too much. And uh, these instructions are actually ready-made and you can have these instructions on the link and uh, even you can install on CentOS, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora and Windows and Mac OS also so this is this page is for actually Linux so when you go to the main page I mean this page so you can have this uh, uh, home page so you can have the uh, all instructions about the uh, Windows and so on Okay. And it is not important to install the D space back end and, and the front end on the same machine. Now they are separate. So to run D space back end, we need to have Apache. M, uh, 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 and Bevan, uh, Tomcat, we need to have uh, Solar as well. Solar is the new thing in uh, DSpace 7. And uh, of course, uh, the database that is PostgreSQL, or you can have Oracle. So all these things we need to have. And to, to go on the front end, we need to uh configure yearn and we need to configure i'm not getting remember the name of that angular and and the back end also has the um, um uh, what we say hall browser plugin oh, my god so anyhow so this i mean the d space 7 is is not for a common librarian uh you need to need have some uh system librarian you need to need no some uh, uh, tricks about uh, Linux or Windows or installation tips lots more thing you need to learn a lot anyways so it's a good experience I have also uh, uh, I mean I'm working on the DSpace 7 directly instead of docker but uh, for for right now I mean it's a new version after all so for right now uh, this is uh, what I can do so let us see how uh, okay going on and it's evening time actually uh, the system is uh, I mean the internet speed is maybe down uh, okay okay so we updated and upgraded now we need to work on get so here's the command for debian and ubuntu so we can get the get git is actually hub so we can have that git repository first and 38.4 mb at least you need to have 6 gb to run docker file This is for Docker only. <laughs> okay. And we are on Ubuntu 20.04, that is current LTS. Twenty point zero four point two. 
Okay, remember. Now move on. So we need to install the Docker uh, Compose engine or what is it? Let's see. For Ubuntu. So this is actually Docker engine on Ubuntu. And it supports 21.04. It supports Ubuntu 20.10, 20.4. That is LTS. We are going to work on this. And it's focal. Okay. We need to see what it is. It's focal. Okay. At first level, we can uninstall the old version if we have. So let us see uh, either install or not. Maybe let me check my system so it is not there and also the complete instructions to uninstall docker if you have already installed docker it's over there so you become the fresh uninstall docker engine There you are. So copy this and paste here. So there's nothing available. This is just to confirm. I'm not sure I have installed before or not. Maybe I have a song, so let me confirm. Now let us start the process. So we have installed the git and uh, the next thing we need to do we need to uninstall old version of uh, of docker if we have and here we have the installation method there are three methods so the most user or the most popular is to have the docker repository and then installation or you can install manually or you can install work uh, you can install with the convenient script of the docker so we will go for with the docker repository so there you need to click and this copy these commands from sudo and paste here and it will ask you 752 kb yes so what we do with this command we get install we get update and we get install this and this and this and this and this package so all packages installed now now we have cool okay so we need to add docker official if you can see this uh, let me zoom this too much okay so after doing this we need to add the docker gpg key here so here's the command so you can copy this command after the dollar sign word and and let me copy and uh, paste here okay the key has added and now let's see your system actually oh my okay there are actually these are the versions of ubuntu or i mean the linux system so let us copy this we can also copy this but this is actually good so we will copy the very first in ubuntu 20.04 so let me copy these and uh, paste here okay now move on so we need to install the docker engine this mouse is terrible okay so we need to copy these commands 
paste here now we are getting the docker the second command yes remember whenever we copy two commands this one we can copy one by one or we can copy i mean all together but after uh, completing the first command we need to enter for second command and we need to allow we need to say yes i mean y and then press enter now you can see it's downloading docker for focal ubuntu focal is mean 21 uh, 20.04 that is the lts so and this is actually the number of focal <sighs> and if you are feeling difficult to to work on d space 7 uh, so you can i mean to install d space 7 so you can have d space 6 the back api of d space 7 and d space 6 they are the same i mean the back end of both system what is new in d space 7 is just the front end so if you don't need the front end so you can have the d space 6 as well and the d space 7 is just an early bird and but but for future you need to have that and we will try to install the dspace uh, 7 on our system in some other video i mean the all backend apis and front end this system is small that's why i'm doing uh, i'm taking the support of docker but docker is good so you can have the testing you can have the development at your end and you become ready for the production so you can use the uh, dspace 7 without the docker Okay, so after doing this, uh, this is the second method to install the Docker repository. I mean, Docker files. I mean, container. Sorry, Docker engine. <laughs> okay, and now install from package. This is the third way. And we can verify Docker engine is installed correctly by running the hello world image. So let us see. Is it correct or wrong? It will say unable to find image and then running the command. Now you will see the image of hello world. So you can see this. So let me show you, let me bigger this, so um, I think that was good. So hello from docker, this message shows that your installation appeared to be working correctly. So what we do, we work correctly and now and uh, after this we need to, so we have installed the docker repository and uh, let us back to the main installation file so we did this i mean the second step after the git we have installed docker uh what it is uh, ce compose file of search engine i think something that okay anyways uh, uh, let me show you <laughs> so, so 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 it's a docker engine okay 
anyways so 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 on ubuntu and we have verified it's working now we need to download docker uh, d space docker compose file so we need this copy these commands and paste here okay okay it has completed so we actually download the d space docker compose file and now let us verify docker compose so we have three options to start d space docker and run d space 6 run d space 7 and run d space 7 with some uh, configurable data so we will just run d space 7 we do not need a data set and uh, you can do this option you can select this option so there you need to uh, work on the further steps that's quite easy because my server size is not bigger that's why i'm choosing this option run d space 7 so it will run the d space 7 and then we need to go in this path i mean this is cd this is actually the path or the folder so there I need to go copy this and okay there's one command left so let me put this okay and paste this so we are at this path and after doing this we need to start d space 7 and d space 7 by using these two commands copy and paste here so now it will take few time okay it say we uh snap okay this is docker compose is not installed with this system so we need to install docker i mean docker compose file first so we we can get through this command or through this command so let us copy with this and and paste here so start what we are doing we are actually getting the uh, snap uh, installed docker compose so this uh, package is not installed with us so we are we need to install this first so there we have two commands it's one snap install docker and apt uh, install docker compose whatever you can select so i just use this one uh, okay so let me show you again what i did actually so after downloading docker uh, d space docker compose file this is after this i just run d space 7 or you can run d space 7 with some configurable data so there you can see this is what configurable data you need to work on all such things and there you have some options actually so you can log in with the, this this is actually test data so it has some data set so there you can work on further so i'm just using this and uh, i'm just running d space on my ubuntu system through the docker file so that's quite easy to install d space i mean that's actually not the installation that's actually something like uh, using live uh, image of uh, d space through the docker so but we get all the things on our system so and this is actually recommended for the development for the practice purpose and uh, for production system uh, you need to install dspace as it is i mean back end front end and the prerequisites as well so this is actually for the development and, and and practice like this testing and development what they say 
anyhow so so we are at this step we need to go at this directory hope it may install okay it's downloading snap it's 50 percent done it will take a few time okay you must have a good system you must have a good ram to run dspace to either through you work directly install or you install through docker so you need a good space in your uh, system and also the good memory I mean the RAM size in your system so then you can run dspace dspace 7 required lots of space Okay, it's done now and uh, now we need to go at this path, I mean this uh, CD, I mean the directory actually. <laughs> we are already in it, so let's see, okay. And now we are going to start dspace7 and uh, see the, what it say. It will take two to five minutes for services to start completely once they have started you can view them on the web the first time you start dspace it will load some default aip i mean uh, okay aip content this process take uh, additional and additional three to five minutes okay we need at least five to ten minutes around so let us copy this and to start dspace through docker for the very first time and now it's actually will download all the things let's see see it's pulling the dspace database it's pulling the uh, solar it's pulling the dspace itself it's pulling the dspace angular that's actually the the, the uh, angular is for the staff interface i mean user interface so now we need to wait for long it will take long time for pulling and uh, after pulling it will uh, trying to compose it will up first it will pull and then it will up the data so it will take time so we actually uh, insert two command here so it's pulling the data from the docker image file and now it's actually uh, we have already downloaded docker so it's pulling the data from there and then it will up i mean it will start the dspace docker file so we need to wait here and let's see one by one each process i mean each uh, database and each system will start working it's downloading 57 okay whatever the person <sighs> okay let me stop my video here let me pause my stop um, video here and i'll come back when it may complete and i'll show you of course okay now i come back after having the dinner so as you can see it has all done it has pulled the docker compose file uh, which includes the dspace database dspace solar dspace itself and the dspace angular and then it has up the docker compose file for dspace solar dspace database dspace itself means day space uh, backend api and then d space angular for the front end now it's time to check and i mean it's time to verify the that d space running or not 
so it will show us the ports and so on let us copy this command and paste here and enter and now as you can see uh, container ID and the image status ports let me bigger this okay not so much so you can see container ID for the uh, for for D space uh, I mean the docker container and the image port so the D space angular is available on 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 this port Uh -huh. okay so maybe it's good now you can see uh, and then created on that time and it's up I means it has working that means it's working and solar is on on this ID I mean this I IP 8939 okay, okay 8983 and uh, D space available on 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 this ip i mean the port is actually port okay let us try so 300 for angular means front end and the port uh, for d space it's a uh, solar for search engine solar is search engine 8983 uh, and d space database on this port and the back end d space is available on 8080 so let us start a web browser so there we need to run the solar first let us see the solar first its local host because it's light actually 8983 I think it was 8983 8983 so let us enter okay the solar is working so you can see if you have small memory if you have I mean uh, if you have a small memory like uh, you don't have sufficient ram size so it will take long it will take huge memory actually so you can see i have 5 gb of ram for this server it's taking 4.6 and 4.77 97 percent of gb it's taking d space i mean the ram uh, ram size so you must have a bigger ram ram size to run d space 7 okay now other things you can see login this is some container problems and admin there you can see the admin and so on and in java properties java properties is quite important to run dspace and you have to set java properties when you working on D space when you try to install on your local host so instead of uh, docker image so you need to set all such things we will do all these things when we come to new server actually this is one of the old server and uh, my server has a um, low memory that's why I am not going for that okay anyhow so let us start the D space itself. Localhost 8080. That's actually for Apache Tomcat, uh, the main server of D space. So it's Apache Tomcat. It's running on uh, the version is 8.5.41. 
and the current version of apache i mean i mean tomcat is actually uh, i think uh, apache 10 but uh, d space 7 is comfortable with uh, with this version so and then uh, it's a local host 8080 server for backend api that's a huge project so you can see it's a whole browser and all such backend apis available here so you can have them and you can configure accordingly so there's an address also available okay and the front end api so it's a not a api d space 7 front end it's available on localhost 3000 i think 3000 it will take few time actually but start working and you can see there's a logo that will take few time to load because angular is working behind the i mean as a browser or facility for the space uh, front end okay so let it load and i'll show you and then i'll end the video uh, this is i mean the easiest way to run d space on your local machine through the docker file d space 7 if you are interested to work in d space 6 there's a complete video available about the d space 6 and it's quite easy to install d space 6 as compared to d space 7 so this video is for those guys who's actually practicing d space 7 and wants to transfer their data uh, uh, from d space 6 to 7 or they want to use for students or whatever I mean if they want to practice so you can have that okay so i actually uh, it will take lots time actually for for the very first time it will take three to four minutes what i will do i will uh, make a document with all these commands uh, also provide the link of this uh, 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 address in this website in the description of this video and also make a, a, a file I mean the command file command line <laughs> it's actually command line so I'll make it after the lunch you uh, I mean after the dinner you are not able to do something anything so that's actually I I will make a command line for all for all all, all the commands so if you need that so you can connect me to my email address available in the description of this video let's see it's uh, maybe it's uh, done okay so it's load it said we collect uh, and process your personal information for the following purpose authentication prefer preferences and acknowledgement and statics so okay that's okay <clears throat> We are using after all their image and container so we can provide some information and the statistics so it's okay so there you can see all of uh, d space by title by issue uh it has no data so you need to have some data there you need to log in and you can enter some data it's very blank i mean you can practice on it or you can have a uh, 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 d space with some pre-filled data i mean the second option let me show you where through this okay so you can stop d space 7 with this command and when you want to restart you can restart with this command Okay, this command is for Windows or Ubuntu. Where's the Ubuntu commands? There must be some Ubuntu commands. You will see them. 
So there is actually for D space 7 Ubuntu. Whenever you want to start, you you need to run these two commands in these I mean in your terminal so it will run. You need to come on this uh, directory and then you need to run these two commands and will it will start working. And you will see the common task I mean the next step after having this for additional actions you can take with your D space instance so you can work on it and let me know how it's working thank you very much for watching raft limbs this is for Robosan and that's actually the easiest way to work on D space 7 and it's working actually it's taking long a uh, huge size of the memory that's why it's uh, taking too long my server is it's down now <laughs> and, okay so it's actually with 5 gb and uh, of ram and it's all take 5 gb so it has stopped working okay anyhow so we have completed the video so thank you very much for watching it's, whenever you work on this uh, uh, project or whenever you want to run all this command you must have a good size of memory I am repeating you must have a good size of memory I mean the RAM so at least at least you have 6 GB and that's too many small for D space still working I hope I, I'll, I'll show you something okay there you can see uh, browsing by title so you can browse by title issue date author subject and the communities and collection still loading okay <laughs> anyhow so I mean that's a new thing I mean we do not have any communities or sub communities if you want to know how we can create communities and sub communities i mean the structure is the same i mean d space 6 and the 7 structure is same but the front end is little different with the d space 6. so if you want to learn about how we can create community in communities and the administrative task in the d space 6 or uh, also on D space 7 there's a video available in the description of this video and thank you very much for watching raflims this is farooq hussain take care